Hey guys, John here from waterbearcycles.com. Wanted to go over a 2011 Tarmac Pro SL3 custom built carbon men's road bike that we have listed on our eBay store. It's a 58 centimeter. Um, it was built from the frame up. So it's got a mix of components on it. It's mainly a SRAM rival 10 speed, two by 10 speed group. It's in excellent working condition. It's been professionally inspected, professionally tuned for this listing. It's got brand new tires on it. We have carbon shift levers here, uh, brand new Schwabley Lugano tires. It's built with Bontrager Race Alloy 700C clincher wheels. Uh, everything is in great shape. Drivetrain has plenty of life left on it. It's been professionally cleaned, comes tuned, ready to ride. Reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to go over um, an issue that Specialized and some other brands like Trek had uh, from this age of paint that they used. I don't know if they sourced it from the same spot, but what happens is, um, unfortunately, especially on the higher end carbon, like the Pro Level and S-Works on Specialized from about 2010 to about 2014, over time, the paint actually starts to, it starts to crack um, usually only in, in the lighter colors, like in the yellows and the whites. And, um, it's interesting because they, they must bake the, the paint on, and then the, there's not a lot of flexibility built into that paint. So what you get is you start getting this kind of cracking. Now it's not, it's weird because it doesn't flake off or chip or anything. You can't catch, catch your fingernail in it or anything. It's just the, the, the sub layer of paint underneath the clear coat starts to separate somehow and you get this this cracking. So there's a couple little blemishes here, like actually in the paint, but the cracking you can see throughout on the white on this bike. And uh, it's only in the white on this one, like you can see it in the in the Tarmac logo, like, like right here and, and right here. Uh, you can see it on the head tube here. Um, comes around the front of the head tube. So it's only cosmetic, it's 100% cosmetic. It's not a, you know, it's nothing in the carbon. It's only in this top layer. You only see it in the in the lighter colors. You can see it kind of in the, in the blue there, here. Um, it's actually on the, uh, the the chain stays as well. See the little cracking down there. So I guess over time, you know, it's because this carbon material has flexibility in it. You know, the that white paint is just hard shell and it just cracks. But again, you know, you can't get your fingernail in it. It's not going to come up. Uh, and like I said, overall, the bike's in excellent condition. It works great, but it does have these cosmetic blemishes. And you can look it up online. I mean, there's forums about it. You can call Specialized about it. They're very aware of it. And you know, a lot of people freak out and think that it's the carbon that's cracking or, or something more than it is. But it's really just, uh, it's just the cosmetic stuff. And uh, it just is what it is on these older bikes. But again, uh, you know, Bid and purchase with confidence. The bike is 100% structurally safe to ride. It's in great shape. It's tuned, it's clean. It's got carbon bars on it. It's got a uh, Selly Italia titanium saddle on it. It's got a carbon seat post on it. Uh, the bike's light, it's fast to ride. But again, we do have these, these cosmetic blemishes in, in the paint. So it is sold as is, but uh, just be aware of that when you when you get it, not to freak out, but it's just, uh, it's just carbon, or sorry, it's just uh, the paint material that's, uh, that's cracking on the top, not the carbon. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to look us up and reach out to waterbearcycles.com. Thank you.